Good evening again, everyone. We are coming to you live from Spooler Stadium, home of the Northrop Bruins, taking on the Bishop Lures Knights tonight. Uh, these two teams are now taking the field right now, preparing for a battle. Come into this contest, Mark Watts, uh, with deficit zero and one. I'm anticipating a very good game tonight. Yeah. I think that these are two evenly matched teams. It's going to be the team who will be able to run the football is going to come out at least first and, and dominate. From the shotgun, here's a good snap. Wazinski fake, play action rolls, throws left, has a man deep, in line. That is Austin Mack, and he races in for a Bishop Lures touchdown. And that was just a straight fly pattern, and the cornerback did not anticipate Mack's speed. Third and 11, looking to throw, goes over, picked. It is picked off at the 29-yard line, and that is a huge play again by Dippold. Here's a snap, giving the oh. tailback. Right side following the fullback, touchdown, Bishop Lewis. And he did follow the fullback. C.J. McCarter just leveled somebody, and he went right off his tail. Nice block, C.J. Wazinski looks to throw, airs it out deep. Left side on the fly pattern, caught in stride is Austin Mack, and he is off to the races for a huge Bishop Lewis touchdown. Another beautiful connection between Wazinski and Austin Mack. You're going to hear those names all season long for the Bishop Lures Knights as they score again against Northrop. Single man in the backfield is McCarter. Throw, left side screen, Mack has it, off to the races, looking for a block, he's got one. The 40, the 50, racing down the sideline, one man to beat, the 20, the 10, touchdown, Austin Mack. No, I really think that's probably the best play in the Knights playbook is a short pass, get their receivers in open space and let them do the work. Austin Mack has just uh, broken a single game receiving record tonight already in the first half he has 207. That's going to do it for the first half of action ladies and gentlemen your score is 38 to 0. Bishop Lures on top for the Northrop Bruins. Nick Gray take it away. And we have one of our favorite priests Father Ben Mullenkamp. Father Ben welcome to the sideline. Hey it's great to be here. Lures is going to continue to be a, a happy holy healthy place to send young people and so I just I really appreciated getting to know some of the freshmen as well so I think I think we're going into another wonderful year this year. This is a great opportunity early on in the season to test the mettle of the younger kids. When they get up on some people, they play everybody, right. and these young kids get, get to feel what it's like on Friday nights. There's nothing like it, yeah. and it just builds momentum for the rest of their career. Wazinski from the shotgun, guards pull, counter tray through the middle, Gaston has it, and he breaks free. Pass midfield, the 40, the 35, the 30. Two men can catch him. He is finally pushed out of bounds near the 20-yard line of Northrop. Okay, they get the snap off, give to McCarter, bounces it outside, pushes into the end zone, absolutely flattens a defender on the Bishop Lures touchdown. He was smelling the end zone that time. Here's a snap, give to the tailback. Oh, he's hitting the backfield and dropped. My goodness, freight train coming that time, and he is called Jackson Wilkinson, number 35 for Bishop Lures, sophomore linebacker. Second teams are in. Here's a snap, give to the fullback through the middle, finding some room, dancing close to the end zone, dragging tacklers. It is a touchdown for Bishop Lures. Number 45 coming up huge, Nathan Pritchard on the Bishop Lures touchdown. He sounded like a draw, and he just found a hole, and he, he looked, looked Did you see him high-stepping through he there? Did, he oh, did. my goodness. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this contest as both sides make their way to the midfield stripe to shake hands. Your final score. 58-7, to seven, Bishop Lures on top of the Northrop Bruins. We're going to send it down to the sideline with Coach X, who is with Coach Lindsay. Coach Lindsay, you just got to be tickled with your group. They played well in the second half. They did finish, and you were able to get a lot of puffs in. Yeah, and that, you know, that's always fun when you can watch those kids who put in all that work. I mean, as you know, as a former coach, you don't win ball games without your scout teams, those, those JV kids, and watch them go out there and actually perform. That was, that was fun to see. Tonight, you broke a record receiving over 219 yards. Congratulations, and how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel wonderful. You know, I'm glad I was able to execute for my team. And overall, you know, even though I was able to do those records myself, it was my team that helped me block and able to execute. Me doing what I did today is what's going to help us, you know, to keep going down the road. So, you know, we're trying to get to Lucas Oil, and that's, that's the number one goal. I'm Sean McBride. Good night, God bless, and we'll see you on the sidelines. This is Redeemer Radio 106.3 FM.